guys. So I was just getting really bored of being inside. I thought it was like crap. So now the sound isn't going to be as good, but it'll be a bit of a more interesting thing to look at. Also, you can see a little more of me, and I can stand, and then I can be all over the place like I usually am. This is going to be day 14 to 16. We were in Rhodes for this time. So we woke up that morning in the less than lovely hotel. We went to the medieval citadel, which is this huge fortification that was around the entire old city. Huge, huge, huge wall with a whole bunch of different gates to gain access to the city. 11 gates in total. It was built in 1309. Within the city, there's the knight's quarters, and then there's the burge, or the burge, or the burge, and that's where the rest of the townspeople lived. We went through the first gates and got to the palace, which was built in 1512, and it's called the Palace of the Grand Masters, which for some reason just keeps making making me think about Star Wars. It could be because I'm reading a Star Wars book, but I don't know, man. I'm thinking like Masters, Jedi, really into it. This palace had everything. Cannons, grand staircases, mosaics, as well as medieval and ancient exhibitions to look at throughout the palace. Nikos Floras was also putting on a special art exhibition there. He had a whole bunch of these dresses and corsets and shoes that he made out of pop cans, so out of Coca-Cola cans and stuff, but he made these actual size gowns that were replicas of the gowns that were actually used in certain operas. After that, we walked down the street of the Nights. On the right hand side was the archaeological museum, and it was in the old medieval hospital, which was built in 1440. There was a lot of pottery there, uh, and again, with the weird, funny pottery. This time there wasn't any nipple or breast pottery, but there were men having intercourse with sphinx like women. A couple sitting on a bed having erotic talks with dog underneath. The explanations were funny, it made me laugh. A famous statue was also there, Aphrodite of Rose. It's very pretty, and we saw these huge mosaics. Huge, huge, huge. I guess it would have gone on floors originally, but they have them up on the side. It's really, really cool. Look at how tiny I look compared to the mosaic. After that, we headed into the medieval town, and we saw this lovely medieval fountain. Ooh. Throughout that town, there are just tons and tons and tons of tourist shops again. Pottery, leather, dresses, watches, glasses. You name it, it was there. Throughout there, they have ruins of different churches and a whole bunch of different gates. We went to the Gates of the Virgins. Here's me being, oh, I'm so virginal. And then we also went to St. Catherine's Gate, which I, of course, had to pose very angelic-like at. We walked through the old Jewish quarter. Lots of twists and turns, really pretty doorways, and did a little bit more shopping. Really, I haven't spent that much, I swear. I barely spent anything. It's mostly my sister and my mom. They're crazy. We saw the Mosque of Solomon the Magnificent. That's just an amazing name, Catherine the Magnificent. I like it. I feel like I'm a magician. And then some salt and pepper shakers that put those ones on Santorini to shame! Look at this! Look at the selection! <laughs> On day 15, we walked along the sea to get to the port. Really, really beautiful. The color of the ocean is gorgeous. And we saw this amazing diving platform, which the next day my sister and I come back to and just get all over it. We saw the Stag and Doe, which now guard the harbor. It used to be a huge colossus. I think made out of bronze, maybe made out of silver. I wasn't too clear on the details of that. It would have been standing over it. I found a towel that has what it kind of would have looked like. That would have been crazy. Tiny, like fairly tiny boats going through these huge legs of this man. Really cool. It was funny though, some of the statues kind of looked like he was like squatting to do business instead of setting all powerful life like the men who wear the banana hammocks do. Way too many banana hammocks. After that, Sarah and I grabbed some lunch and I heard salads. I really am just not a salad person. I'm a meat and potatoes kind of woman. And then we went back to the hotel and we had some fun in the water. Right in front of our hotel, there's this amazing pier, and there's just crazy waves because there's this huge wind that happens. All through Greece, there's this wind called Meltemi. It's so good because it's hot. It's really warm here. In August, it's hot. So you just want a breeze, and Meltemi is just there to cool you down. I love that breeze so much. I'd like that breeze to be my friend. There is a dog that is pissed. But that breeze causes these huge waves off the coast that hit this amazing pier and go <laughs> into the air. Look at this. And then with some people in it, and then a little video of me being like, yeah! pretending that I'm like the magician's assistant or whatever. You know that Fantasia movie where Mickey Mouse is all like pew, 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 water? That's kind of what I was going for. We then headed to the pool, hung out on this little floaty for a little bit, cleaned ourselves up, and went to dinner on this beautiful rooftop patio at Taverna Mama Sofia's. We had a delicious fish dinner and then walked back. On day 16, Sarah and I went back to that tower, did a whole diving thing. No one was there to take photos, but let me tell you, it was great. And I have an intense fear of heights, but I overcame it and did it anyways. I was diving, she was flipping, it was crazy. Came back, cleaned up, hopped on a boat. The Aegean Prince boat took us to Turkey. We ended up in Bodrum, hopped on a van that took us two hours to Kusadashi, which is the harbor that you are seeing now. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back with more soon.